Welcome to Frontiers. I'm Emily Carlson filling in for Rhonda, who's taking some time off. But we do have a story from Rhonda about her trip to Lake Clark this summer to look at a program for wounded veterans, unlike any other in our nation. She and photographer Will Mater travel to Port Allsworth in Bristol Bay, where married couples arrive each week to a hero's welcome. <laughs> Nearly the entire population of Port Allsworth is here. The crowd waits for 10 couples to arrive, wounded veterans and their loved ones. We don't really see it as our, our program, we see it as God's program. A program run by Samaritan's Purse, a Christian group that works to relieve suffering around the world. The couples on this plane are here for a week-long spiritual retreat to heal trauma from the war. Welcome. From the end of May to mid-September, this happens every week, and there's always a big crowd. You got a greeting line waiting okay. for you here. The big welcome catches the new arrivals by surprise because they never officially got thanked for their service to the country, like those who got to go home. Veterans like John Schumacher were rushed to the hospital for amputations and other devastating injuries. This boardwalk just takes you through the whole camp. Six years ago, Jonathan Schumacher lost his legs and part of an arm in Afghanistan. It's nice for your chair to be able to have this to, to go on. The combat, though, never really ended. And the battle to heal Jonathan's body took its toll on his marriage. I was on uh, my second uh, deployment to Afghanistan uh, when I stepped on an IED. I was eight months pregnant with our second child. That child was born in the same military hospital where John was taken, two floors up. Since then, John has had about 100 surgeries. We've come out of a lot of dark times. We kind of forgot that we were husband and wife. It kind of became caregiver and patient type relationship. That's one of the things we're looking to get back to is bring the, the romance back into our relationship. Jacqueline James Fisher tries okay, to lighten Chris. the mood, yet still get to the heart of the matter. We're all here because there's a tearing of our bodies. There's a, there's a hurting in our bodies, but you know what? There's a time to mend. There's a time to be silent, a time to speak. Your time of war and hate is over. As a Navy chaplain for more than 30 years, James Fisher has ministered to the wounded on many a battleground. It isn't easy to cleanse the soul of trauma from war, but an important first step is to give those who suffer a sense of peace and hope. Part of the experience here that people are drawn to is that it's post-traumatic growth. We know that people are coming here looking for a second chance. They're looking for a second chance in their marriage. They're looking for a second chance to get right with God. And here, that means a chance to live life to the fullest, to get out on the water, in the air, and into the wild. Coming up next, Operation Heal Our Patriots takes the plunge. <laughs> Learning to enjoy life again, how it helps to recover from the trauma of war.